Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss instrumentation of FTIR. We will discuss IR spectrophotometer, its different components, and the difference between FT Fourier transform infrared spectrophotometer and dispersive infrared spectrophotometer. So, first of all, we will discuss the light source of IR spectrophotometer. There are three types of light sources which produces different three different type of radiations. For mid infrared radiation, <coughs> we use silicon carbide. It is an inert solid and it is used for mid mid IR region. It is heated up to 1200K by current and it produces radiations. It emits radiation similar to black body radiations. Second is the near infrared region. For near infrared we use tungsten halogen lamp and for far IR region mercury discharge lamp is used. The second most important component of the IR spectrophotometer is interferometer which is, which is used to make constructive interference of the IR spectrophotometer. It consists of a beam splitter, fixed mirror and a movable mirror. These are made up of potassium bromide or calcium fluoride because glass or quartz absorbs IR region. 50% of the light is refracted at fixed mirror and 50% is at movable mirror which is adjusted so that the constructive interference is produced. Then this IR falls on the sample cell or sample where the radiations are absorbed. So the sample cell may be gas sample, liquid sample or solid sample. So if we have a gas sample Gas as a sample is introduced in an evacuated gas cell. The size of the gas cell varies. It can be from 1 cm to 10 cm. The second, if we have a liquid sample. For liquid sample, a small drop of liquid sample is placed in between two flat plates of about 5 mm thickness of NaCl. So these plates are made up of sodium chloride. Pressing both plates produces a thin film of sample which is about 0.1 millimeter of thickness. Then these plates are mounted in the sample cell where beam passes and which are detected to the IR detector. For sample that dissolves sodium chloride, we can use other plates like sodium chloride, etc. Solid sample. A solid sample is examined either as a mull. Mull is a mixture of our sample and mulling agent. The mulling agent is, for example, we have nujol, which is paraffinic hydrocarbons or high boiling petroleum oil. Mull is placed between the two plates and examined. Potassium bromide powder can also be used along with our sample instead of mull. The last one, the last component of the IR spectrophotometer is IR detector. IR detector is pyroelectric detector which is used and liquid nitrogen is used for cooling purpose of the detector. It is a type of thermocouple that converts heat signal into electrical signal. Here we have schematic representation of Fourier transform infrared spectrophotometer. So first is the light source which is the infrared region light source. It may be for mid infrared silicon carbide near infrared tungsten halogen lamp and far IR mercury discharge lamp will be used. These IR radiations 
when passes through the interferometer the beam splitter is present which splits these beam into two equal paths the one is refracted on the fixed mirror and the other we have a movable mirror movable mirror is adjusted so that the constructive interference is made and then this these are your radiation then falls on our sample which are present in our sample cell then this sample after absorption of the radiation is passed and fall on the detector where it detects these signal in the form of electrical signals so it converts these heat radiation ya or ir radiations into electrical signal and these signals are recorded in the form of spectrum so the last we should know what is the difference between fourier transform and dispersive infrared spectrophotometer so in dispersive infrared spectrophotometer diffraction grating is used instead of interferometer so for this in dispersive type this interferometer is not present and instead of this diffraction grating is present that splits ir radiation into individual frequency of the radiation which then falls onto the sample so this is the difference between fourier transform and dispersive infrared spectrophotometer so in our next video we will study what is raman spectrophotometry and uh, so that one will be our last topic on infrared spectroscopy and then we will study nmr spectroscopy so today for this thanks for watching my video